Here's the problem. Your last will and testament must be validated by a probate court before any of your assets can be distributed to your heirs, and the probate process can take between nine months and two years before your family can inherit your estate. During this period, assets are usually frozen, and nothing can be distributed without court approval. Probate can be expensive, too, depending on your state of residence. Mandatory court costs and legal fees can range from 3% to 8% of your entire estate. What's more, probate court proceedings are a matter of public record, which means that anyone can see what you own and what you owe, as well as who will receive your assets and when they will receive them, which will often attract the attention of predatory conmen and unscrupulous salesmen. So, what's the solution? A living trust. A living trust is a private legal document that provides specific instructions for how you want your assets to be used and distributed. But unlike a will, a living trust does not go through probate, which means that your estate can be transferred directly to your heirs, without the expense, delay, or public record of probate. But a living trust can do much more than a will. For example, assets can remain in your trust until your beneficiaries reach a certain age, which can prevent court control of a minor's inheritance, or provide lifetime financial security for dependents with special needs, like a disabled spouse or handicapped child. And if you are ever physically or mentally incapacitated and can no longer manage your own financial affairs, your successor or co-trustee can assume that responsibility for you but only in strict accordance with your trust instructions and without any need for some court-appointed legal guardian. Here's how it works. With a living trust, you become the trustee of your assets instead of the owner of your assets, which means that legally your trust owns everything, but you own the trust. Otherwise, nothing else changes. You continue to manage and control everything you own, just as you do now. The only difference is that you do it all as the trusted owner instead of the titled owner. So you simply transfer title or ownership of all your assets, your home, your car, your bank account, and all of your investments, including real estate, stocks and bonds, as well as all of your untitled property, like home furnishings, clothing, jewelry, and collectibles, from your name to the name of your trust. For example, from Bob and Sue Smith to the Smith Family Trust, with Bob and Sue Smith as co-trustees. And when you pass, these assets will be distributed according to the instructions within your trust. So, ask yourself this. Does it make sense to pass on your estate using a will that must go through the probate process as a matter of public record? And make your family wait up to 24 months or more to inherit your assets? or make them pay up to 8% of their inheritance in probate fees? Or does it make better sense to set up a living trust that will pass all of your assets onto your heirs just as you want, but without the expense, the delay, and the public exposure of probate? <laughs>